Today, I was headed to the Emily Trap Hagen Preserve, one of the parks that makes up Delaware County's preservation park system. It was a hidden gem not far from home. I wanted to give Thomas a call. He would have loved checking this place out. Hello? Yo! Yo! Dude, I'm at this nature preserve. It's like really beautiful out here. Yeah, I wish you could be here so we could see this. Like, I'm in this meadow and the view is just incredible. Yeah, I wish I, wish I could be there too. I bet it's kind of amazing. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty cool there too. Probably not too bad, but... It, it's still pretty good. Really beautiful. All right, man. Just in case you weren't able to tell, Andrew and I are on different sides of the country right now. It really is beautiful. Today, I'm in Texas Canyon of the Los Angeles National Forest System. I began my hike at 5 a.m. while Andrew began his at around 9. This plant here is called false nettle. Very much resembles wood nettle, which is edible, but this one is actually not known to be edible. You can see that the flowers are sort of growing along all the leaves. And this has sort of an angular stem, but sometimes it's round. But the key difference between this and wood nettle is that this one has no stinging hairs and the stem remains green throughout the year. Pretty interesting find. Now, one of the things I really want to point out is, I don't know if you can see it here, this big gigantic rock formation here. Now this is a climber's hot spot and I think it's called Texas Canyon Rock or something like that. I got a friend back in Athens and she would kill just to be out here. Now I'm not a climber, uh, so I'm not gonna try and scale that thing, but I'm definitely gonna check it out. You have to be careful during a brisk dawn like this as rattlesnakes, still cold from last night, often seek warmth in the sun to heat up their cold blood. So one of the things I keep doing and one of the reasons I'm talking to my camera right now is I want to make a lot of noise so that way I don't startle any rattlesnakes. Now as cool as I think it would be to see another rattlesnake, I'm really just trying to go on a nice walk here without any uh, anything like that. So let's keep walking. Now this right here is a real wood nettle, and uh, I can show you my reaction when I try it out. Uh, <laughs> so as you can see, it hurts a lot when it stings you. These are actually edible, and you'll notice that there's a lot of hairs on this, whereas the false nettle has none. Of course, you do want to soak these leaves before cooking them and then eating them so that you can get rid of any of the sting. But actually, when these are just really young shoots in the spring, you can just eat it raw. I'm not going to pretend to know as much about wild edibles as Andrew, but that's okay. I get to show you mountains and deserts instead. Plus I get to stand in cooler positions, like this one. The local landscape was once inhabited by the Tataviam Indians, who used the local springs and the diverse landscape to provide water and food for their villages. Kind of cool stuff. The stupid fly will not leave me alone. Every time I try to swipe it off its backpack, it chases me like the thug that it is. And I just run away like a man with no guts. Oh, look at that. I thought Pride Rock. As I rounded the top of the hill, I took in the landscape that was this valley. So there's edible and medicinal plants like wood nettle and uh, jewelweed, but there's also lots of plants out here that are really dangerous. This one here is called moon seed. Kind of resembles grape seed, but the leaves are smooth and not serrated. They produce a fruit with a single seed in it that's sort of shaped like a crescent moon. And if you eat this fruit, it's pretty dangerous. You can get sick. Now this thing here, this is just a thing of beauty to me. Really intimidating though. This is called white baneberry, also known as doll's eyes. And you can see why it's called that. It looks like a bunch of creepy eyeballs just staring at you. The most poisonous part are these berries here. And if you eat them, you'd probably die. Luckily, they look pretty creepy, so uh, kind of obvious that you should stay away and keep these out of your body. Well, it's, uh, it's getting about time where I think I want to head back. I've only hiked about a mile and a half, so not that much, but it's been a lot of ups and downs here, so it's gonna take a while to get all the way back up to where my car is. 
it's uh, definitely a serene place here. You're really in the middle of nowhere and I haven't seen a single person. Right after I said that, I ran into two people who gave me very weird looks. I kept on walking. Well, uh, that's the only way I'm uh, able to get out of here. It's a long way up, but uh, I guess I gotta do it. Bet you're wondering how I got the shot. It's because I'm stupid and I decided to walk down and then walk back up. Yeah. It was only a weekend trip, but for both of us, we had a blast. Taking a little bit of time out of your week can really put things in perspective. Whether it's a local metro park of Ohio or a national forest in Los Angeles, an adventure is always there, waiting to be had. So now go, go have an adventure, make the most out of this time, and go have a tale or two to tell your friends once you get back.